History could be made this week in Congress where a confirmation showdown is looming at the Senate getting ready to take a final vote on Betsy DeVos for education secretary tomorrow. And with two Republicans saying they'll join Democrats in opposing the school choice advocate, Vice President Mike Pence may have to break a tie. It would be the first time that that has ever happened. After the DeVos vote, Republicans will spend the rest of the week trying to push through the nominations of Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions, Health Secretary nominee Tom Price and Treasury Secretary nominee Steve Mnuchin. President Trump still has just four cabinet members confirmed. And going back to Betsy DeVos, uh, Charlie, those two GOP senators, Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, uh, are the two that announced that they would vote against her. All right, so he's got four confirmed. Where do, where do things go now? Well, obviously, with uh, Betsy DeVos, uh, re those Republicans really gave uh, Democrats a lot of cover. Uh, to, to uh, oppose her. But Democrats have a much bigger question about how many of these do they want to drag out and how many of these want to right. block. And, and with uh, the, the uh, uh, nomination of, of Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court adds a lot of pressure to all that because that's the thing that really matters to them. And, and really just, uh, but I, I do think it's kind of funny as somebody who isn't a big fan of the size of the federal government, uh, not having, has anyone noticed that we don't have these, these secretaries uh, in place? You, I think people the, notice because we keep telling them. Yeah, exactly. I think that what but they're waiting for is for their lives. You could to start eliminate staying. several of these departments and it would be two years before most average Americans would ever realize, except we would be talking about it. Music yeah. in my so, ears, Charlie. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love it. But I, I think you're absolutely right. And people didn't realize that until they heard the name Sally Yates again. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they, exactly. they went, oh, really? There's We're, an yeah. acting attorney yeah. general? Yeah. Oh, is there an acting? Secretary of State, and now we she's have fired. So now everybody Secretary knows her. General. So I would say this just really quickly: if if the vote count stays the same with the two who are out, then you know the vice president steps up as the president of the Senate and he votes. But if they lose one more Republican, what happens? And they're, they're in trouble. And and one way to lose a Republican is if if Jeff Sessions gets uh, confirmed uh, to, uh, for AG, then you. Uh, um, then you oh, lose. interesting. They, then you, they, they Do you think they with. play dominoes like that on the hill? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Absolutely. I got a five. Let me block we your should, ten. Like, no, that's why, and that's that a way. big talking point for Democrats right now is, well, why don't you just go ahead and confirm Jeff Sessions? Ooh, if he's so important, I got ten, you got your AG, and then you won't have that extra vote but, but in Megan, the Senate. It just does yeah. seem like they're not picking their battles here. It's just yeah. everyone. They're going yeah, I mean, again, I, have, I don't pretend to understand what the Democrats are doing right now, but it's amazing to me that every nominee for anything is the end of the world. They're all Hitler. They're all the worst choices ever. Betsy DeVos <laughs> is being, it's true, Betsy DeVos is being attacked for being successful and coming from a wealthy family. Steve Mnuchin is being attacked for being successful. This is one thing I will give the Trump administration all day long. It's good to have people in positions of power who know how business works, especially when it comes to things like the Department of Education and, uh, you know, being Secretary of the Treasury. But the narrative about surrounding these people, they're not even giving them a chance. They're not even looking at their resume. And I can't believe just how distilled and the rhetoric mm -hmm. is, especially regarding Betsy, Betsy DeVos, who was parodied on Saturday Night Live this weekend. Like, like she's like it's just some random person they brought in, not someone with uh, all these people have incredible resumes, incredible backgrounds, but simply because they're conservative and working for this administration, you're going to press the panic button. So is it's it stupid. Fair to say, based on what we have seen so far, for confirmed Charlie, that Democrats are successful in their efforts to slow down this process. Well, sure they are right now, but we haven't had another election, mm -hmm. and as you, mm -hmm. we see with Donald Trump talking about the judge out in Washington. Um, um, he's going to make an issue out of it, and he's going to make an issue out of it in future elections in the states mm -hmm. uh, where a lot of these senators are from, and they very well could wind up paying But I'm like, price. Democrats, say something nice about one of the, anyone. Say <laughs> well, something I'm nice about anyone who's with, being with appointed. Betsy DeVos, and it's where the two uh, Republicans say that they fall down on her. It's just that her background does not match up with the public school system. And but she then it's again, because she's for charter schools. Yeah, Let's exactly. call a spade there a spade There, again, there, there are a lot of is. charter public schools, and there's a lot of misinformation it, by Democrats in the left that somehow charter schools are all for profit I was and they're all private it. schools and that is not the case particularly in some of the biggest school districts Dallas, in Texas. the country and and you know New my, York City yeah, I mean LA yeah. LA USD has a number of very successful uh, charter schools that work in concert with the second Absolutely. biggest district in the country but back to your point about the Supreme Court picks are they going to bork every single nominee that that's the president next. puts forth and you know that's a big question I, for a lot of these democratic senators who are running for yeah. re-election in two years in states where Donald Trump won. You heard it here first. Kennedy, are they going to bork them? All of them.